Hey there, everybody. With one trophy, with one trophy under our belts, and a lot of extra drafts on the horizon, I'm here to jump into another one. Welcome to Robot Rallies. You are watching a Vintage Cube draft. In this pack, we have ugh, a tough one. I mean, Bloodstained Mire and Urza, and then a bunch of stuff. I don't really like Coalition Relic, I don't really want to take Crucible of Worlds yet. Wall of Roots is pretty far from the best one. The green, Magda's not really a great card. Red, it's okay. Necromancy's fine. Let's not reanimate. No, we're going to take the Necromancy, maybe. Although Urza is better. Urza's not coming back. Necromancy actually might. Take Urza. You get past a Gilded Drake, a Riftwing, Dam, Sundering Titan, Karn, Mother of Runes, and Finhorn Elves. There's also an Urza Saga. Urza Saga is really good. Oof. Yeah, you know, we could go for some artifact stuff here. Gilded Lotus is not it. Polluted Delta, maybe. I actually like Polluted Delta and Mystic Confluence here as our main choices. Library is... I don't, I don't know if Library is any good. Especially if we're already trying to take lands that are going to kind of tie up our mana situation. Although, I guess in a colorless, uh, mostly colorless deck, it would be a little bit better. But I'm going to take Mystic Confluence. Every time I've cast this card, it's just been an absolute blowout. Portent is fine. Retrofitter Foundry is not really that good. Don't really have any ways to make Thopters or Servos. It's a slow grind machine kind of card. It's also a channel. Why is there a channel in this pack? Are there really three other cards in this pack better than channel? Like, it's channel for me, or portent, or maybe like Asper Sentinel. I'm just going to take the channel. Uh, hmm. Shod and Port Metal Worker? Can we do a Metal Worker? We could try it. So if we have Channel and like Urza, Urza Saga, Metal Worker, stuff like that, we kind of just start loading up on big, expensive spells. We have a Karn in the pack coming back around maybe, and a Sundering Titan. I'll take the metal worker, try and live the dream here. Birthing pod, not really the kind of thing we're gonna wanna funnel our time into. Turn a metal worker into an Urza, I guess. Escape to the Wilds is good. Walking Ballista is a solid anti aggro card. I think we'll take it. Embercool is a pretty great card. Although I don't know if it's really what we're trying to do here. Natural Order is... If we get exactly... Well, it's only really good with certain things. We'll take the Emmer Pool. There's a Batter Skull. That's certainly an artifact we can play. Also, Koldoth of Forge Master, but I don't really think that's a good card. Take that. Blightsteel? Channel Blightsteel Colossus? Metal Worker Blightsteel? I will take it. One of the better payoffs. Um, now we have a Gilded Drake, which I was very impressed with last time we played it. We also have Frexian Revoker, which is on plan and works with our Metal Worker and Urza Saga. And Urza. We'll take that. Very interesting looking deck so far. Not sure if we're going to be playing the green, but I do like at least having the channel for now. <sighs> Look at all these artifacts. This is an enchantment land. Wild. Um. Yeah, I don't really think we're playing any of these. One that's closest to actually being playable is, I guess, Eternal Witness. Even that's kind of far.
you know what this says. We'll put it in the sideboard, take a look at it. <sighs> yeah, this first pack was a little boring, but it was wasn't bad. Now it's sword or crap heap. Guess we will take the sword for the sideboard. Don't really know if we're gonna play it. It's okay with Urza Saga, Metal Worker, stuff like that. Or some Legionnaire? We'll take that. Escape to the Wilds? That really shouldn't be in the pack anymore. This card's actually really good. You just get to play the five cards. Usually how this goes is you'll, is you'll end up with like two lands and three non-lands. And you get to play the two non-lands if you're careful. Really? Emery? Okay. Then we get a time walk with a winter orb and a lotus petal in the pack. Pretty pretty interesting pack here. Hoping to get the winter orb. We will take the power, you know. Nothing wrong with a little time walk every once in a while. I'd like better counter magic than Mystic Confluence, but it is a it's a fine card, I just want stuff that's cheaper and more interactive. Right now we have some pretty great stuff going on. Just need some uh, mana ramp, mostly. Still gonna try and find a way to play the channel. Because I will definitely play a Blight Seal. Um... Noble Hierarch. Also a Sensei's Divining Top, and a Force of Will. Noble Hierarch does make things a little quicker for us. It's not really the kind of artifact ramp we're looking for. Force of Will kind of insulates us against the busted decks in the format. Splinter Twin and Conscripts in the same deck, or in the same pack rather. Can we take one and wheel the other? Pretty far off plan. I don't know if we can do that. I don't know if it would be good to do that either. I think we just have to commit here. Like, what are we taking out if we do that? Metalworker, Batter Skull, Blightsteel, Emrakul. You know, it's a pretty good game plan. I think we will take it. Brazen Borrower, Teferi. Um, it's on Forest Island, not really. Also a Grim Monolith, back on the Artifact plan. Between Brazy B and the Grim. Take the Grim. Mana Drain? Oh my god, okay. I'd like a Coercive Portal, it's really good with what we have going on, but I am going to take a Mana Drain, we're kind of the perfect deck for it too. Now we have a Volk. Gitaxian Probe. I will just take the bulk here. It's better than these other cards by a mile. Chance we could still be on the Splinter Twin, like, extra plan. Like, randomly mize our way to a Splinter Twin victory off the back of a couple of cards. With the main plan of having, like, Grim Monolith, Mana Drain, Time Walk, Metal Worker stuff going on. What we don't have so far is a one mana artifact or zero to go get with Urza Saga. So a mox would be pretty sweet. I mean, obviously a mox would be pretty sweet, but uh, <laughs> not always in the cards. You have Repeal, Smokestack. I don't, I don't think Smokestack is good. I'm gonna be real. problem with Smokestack is that the decks that it's best against are decks that we're probably already going to beat, and the decks that it's worst against are decks where we're not going to have a good time beating them, so I'm just going to take the repeal. Ponder, Goblin Bombardment, Hangerback Walker. I'll take the Ponder. Smuggler Sculpture? 
Ergi and Gruel Signet. I think we'll take the Gruel Signet here, probably. We don't really have enough creatures to reliably crew the copter. We do need some more mana ramp as well. There's the Winter Orb. Pretty much exactly what we hoped to get back. Um, now we have a Hydroid Crisis and a Force of Will. Or the Sensei's Divining Top. We don't have any fetches, so the Divining Top does get worse. Meanwhile, we do have a lot of blue cards. Well, a good number of blue cards for Force. So I'm going to keep it. Lodestone Golem? Yeah? Um, I mean, I guess there's a world where we can try Abbott. Uh, I'm not playing any of these cards. The one I want to see the least is probably Abbott. I'll play the Incinerate. Good little removal spell, keep us alive. <clears throat> Might not even make it, I don't even know. Now what I'm hoping for in pack three is a mox, but you know, I'll settle for a, I'll settle for a black lotus. That would work for me. Neither of these cards matter. Not playing tendrils either. Well, here's where it gets interesting. We have a Kiki Cheeky, Thieving Skydiver, and is it Signet? The Signet for us. And a Chrome Mox, too? Wow. Not gonna lie, these are all pretty solid cards. I think Chrome Mox is probably the pick over Kiki. We have the Splinter Twin, but nothing to do with it yet. Chrome Mox is on plan, and it just helps out with our strategy so much. We have the Triome, which is a uh, mountain island, and I like that. But there's also a Frexian Metamorph. Oh, never mind. There's a Pestermite. We will be taking the Pestermite. Tezzeret? Is this like the one time that a Tezzeret might actually make a deck? So let's put it onto the battlefield and shuffle. Immediately gets Metal Worker, can also immediately go get Lodestone. Or Chromox, Grim Monolith, Porcelain Legionnaire. What are the other options? Expansion Explosion, which I've not been impressed with. Can't play Teferi, don't really want to play the Grim Lava Mancer. Don't want to play the Mizium Orders. Yeah, I guess I will take it. Drink it, Mage. Still only have one target. I think I'm more likely to play the Factor Fiction. Uh, Bomat Courier. We can actually play and crack, but I don't really know what it's going to be doing for us. We also have a Seagate Stormcaller. And we do actually have a Time Walk, so I will take that. Oh, we have Inkwell, Miscalc, and a Golos. We're not going to activate the Golos ever. Miscalc and Inkwell are really the cards I'm looking at here. I think I'm on Miscalc. I think I have enough things on the top end to do. Um, yeah, Miscalc just like what is uh, on the menu. Tanglewire? We just spit out a lot of permanence, don't we? It's also a Ketria Triome. We do have the Splinter Twin and the Pestermite. I'm going to take the Ketria Triome. Mountain Plains, not quite what we're looking for. We're not playing Yokel Helps. I wish we could play the Armageddon, um, but we're pretty far away from that. What thing is the most miserable for us to see? Probably Geist, or Garrick, or Hero, or Goblin Guide. Just every single card that attacks and makes creatures. Um, I guess there's a world where we can find a way to play the Ketri Trium. Or not that. Play that using the Ketri Trium. Um, Thieving Skydiver. Pretty solid. I've been happy with this card. Let's get that incinerate out of there.
I don't know if we start the revoker. No, we didn't get. We didn't get. Oh, what was it? Island Mountain Plains there. Uh, and there's also a Misty. Misty gets Volk and the Catra Trial. And there's just the other Trial. We're just going to take the Misty here. Ellen Kron does not do it. Mind's Desire also does not do it. I'll take the expansion explosion and probably not play it. I don't even remember what I was saying, but um. Sponsor. I've not been impressed with Nissa that much. Hermit, Paladin, Tide Hollow. We'll just take this uh, Silver Blade Paladin out of circulation. Along with this uh, Temple Garden. Not really afraid of the Parallax Wave. And Opposition, which we are not going to play. Alright, well, we have a spicy one here. Um, what's staying in, what's coming out of the high drop slot? Because we do have a lot of cuts we have to make. We can consider Chromox a land replacement. How many actual mana ramp cards do we have here? Put them all inside this stack. Red Monolith, Rule Signet, Mana Drain. Not that many. It's a little rough. We're kind of cobbling together a win condition here. How many artifacts do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Pretty good number. I think that's enough for Metal Worker. Emery, what are you doing? It's getting us back some stuff. I do that every single turn. Might even cast like cast us on turn one sometimes with the uh, the monks. It's pretty good. Um, then it just starts getting me some immediate value. I have creatures to get back to, Batter Skull and stuff. As well, walking ballista. You, uh, what's the actual text? You may cast it this turn, so I could just walking ballista every turn with Emery. Seems pretty good. I don't know if Emery cools enough. Didn't really get there on playing the channel, sadly. That's okay. I think we ended up with a fine enough collection of uh, things to do. It's three red as well as three blue sources. Right off the bat, thanks to the Misty, Triome, and Volk. Uh, Chrome Mox is, well, exclusively blue, sadly, but it is also Mana Ramp, so I'm pretty happy with it. Armageddon, we have the Ketria Triome, which is, oh, that's not, that's not the wrong one, fuck, whoopsie. I was trying to see if, like, well, I have the Temple Garden, I do have the Temple Garden, that gets fetched off Misty. Also a white source. Hmm. Rule Signet is... yeah, it's a red. Exiled cards, colors. Do we have any way, any way to make the white mana? Any way at all? No, I was laughing about the Coalition Relic, but it would have let us cast <laughs> the Armageddon, and that would be pretty nice. Might be a bit too greedy anyway, so we're just going to not do it. Uh, Phyrexian Revoker, I think, stays in. Thieving Skydiver, I think, is interactive enough to stay in. I've been very impressed with Thieving Skydiver. Uh, Grimmelith, Gruel Signet, Chromox, Mandarin, obviously staying in. Ponder, staying in. What do we have for Seagate Stormcaller? Just Ponder Time Walk? I think Just Ponder Time Walk is still good enough. Counter Magic, we have the Miscalc Mana Drain, as well as the uh, Force of Will and Mystic Confluence. Wow, it's a pretty good amount. Pretty healthy. Um, I think Batter Skull is solid. So we have some ways to spit it out as well. I don't think I play the Feast of Famine in the main. 
What are we looking at here? We're looking at one, two, three, four, five. Brings us down to 26. So we need like three, maybe two more cuts. Probably still three. Maybe Tezzeret's not going to do it for me. Um, what is Repeal doing? Repeal specifically is not doing much. Guess it can buy us back a metal worker or a, maybe a Seagate storm caller sometimes. Nah, cut. Is that it? It's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down to 24. 16 lands. Well, 15 lands at a Chrome Mox. And then Signets and other things. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um. Maybe it isn't though. I do think we take the winner orb. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's going to affect me as much as it'll affect our opponent. Can we reliably actually cast the Emrakul? Hmm. I mean, I think it actually is more likely to be cast than the Blight Seal, but I'm going to take both anyway. Blight Seal shuffle only itself, or is it your whole graveyard like the Eldrazi? Just Blight Seal. Okay. Yeah, we'll just add like this. Um, but we don't want the white mana. We want some of these. Wait, what? I need more lands? Is I I must have miscounted, yeah. Uh How many red sources, blue sources at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? 12 and what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 6, 7. 12, 7, and we only have to cast specifically Splinter Twin. Um. I think we can cut one island, add one mountain. What? I'm just hang up somewhere or something? Lands 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm not too worried about having the blue mana on turn one. I think we're going to enough of the time. We're going to save here, and I'll see you in the first match. We have found the first match, and we are on the draw. Probably. We have the monolith, metalworker, and an uncastable. Don't like it. Probably just going to mull. You know? I think this is acceptable. I think this is a fine enough card. I think I'll keep it. I think I'll take this one and be happy with it. Pretty alright, I guess. Well, it's not the best. Not the best. Uh, we'll start us off with the uh, island. Pass the turn. Probably should have led with Mountain to put the Fear of God in them about their mana elves and stuff. Oh god, Rafelos? They could be casting, like, anything next turn. Well, we do have the turn 3 win on the play here, so... What's this, Rafelos, Land of War Emissary? Yeah. Pretty sure that still affects mana abilities. Back tusk? Okay. Not really. Oh, really? Um. Do we block? 
you know, there are ways that we get punished for this, like a random black splash into like a sacrifice a creature effect would get us. Yep, and there we are. There's one of them. That's a black splash. All right, what you got? Acidic slime, huh? What you gonna target? No, that is okay with me. Forcer of Crufix. They made the mistake. Well, they also have no cards in hand. Alright, well, that's game one, I guess. Okay, they're not going to make me do a bunch of clicking. We're going to take a look at our sideboard. Um, we did have the red man at that game. We might not always have it. I do think Incinerate comes in. I do think Winter Orb comes out. I think Repeal also comes in. And I think Thieving Skydiver comes out. Uh, I like almost everything else, but those are the easy, obvious cuts and adds. Sort of Feast and Famine might be a consideration, but the problem is we have just so few things to actually wear it that it becomes uh, prohibitive. Also, they have main deck um, Acidic Slime. That punishes us, and I don't know what we would take out for it, but we'll take a look. Might be the Emrakul. We're less likely to be able to cast some of the bigger stuff in our deck, so getting one of those things out there might be better. We're going to run it like this. They're going to take the play again. Okay, so our opponent has decided to take the play. We're going to keep this off the back of the Grim Monolith into an Urza. Of course, we also have the, uh, the Pestermite. Where's that? A little unfortunate. I'd like to be able to interact with the birds this turn. Maybe they don't have anything super crazy. You got a point. Second main phase? Nothing? Oh, no way, that's good. Um, and we draw an island? I think we're gonna play the island out. I think this turn we just cast a Frexian Revoker. Like, we can repeal here. I think repeal's fine. Maybe we play out the Grim Monolith for the Urza. Then we play out the Frexian Revoker with it. Vampiric Tutor? Okay. This is probably going to be some kind of way to uh, kill the Revoker. That would make sense. We're gonna go for Birds of Paradise. Card name Birds of Paradise cannot be activated. Pass the turn. I mean, the the nightmare scenario is they have a card like Force of Vigor, which would pretty obviously blow us out here. At the third land, but it doesn't look like they do a whole lot with it. Um, really? That's a, what a joke. My god. Um. Yeah, I mean. Don't really see much of a point in doing anything but. 
doing that, we can repeal that back to our hands, maybe? Try something like that? I don't know. Not really the fairest magic in the world, but nobody ever said magic was fair. Whew, well, that's a card, isn't it? I guess I should have revealed it. Yeah, I don't really see too much of a point in doing anything about that. Progenitus. Okay. We actually do get the uh, combo here. So we can untap the Grim Monolith. I'd love to untap the Grim Monolith. Thank you for asking. Well, you know, sometimes you just draw into turn 4 win on the play. Uh, every game. Uh, good match, opponent. They're gonna make us do it, so we're gonna do it. There we go. Return to details. Uh, not exactly the most interactive games. Sorry to our opponent, we didn't really intend to literally do that turn for every game. I know that kind of feels bad, I've had that happen to me a lot of times, but hey, that's just magic for you. Okay, we have found our second opponent, and we are on the play. Looking like a pretty okay hand. We have a Chrome Mox. Ponder. Probably going to put this Seagate Stormcaller under the Chrome Mox. Looking to keep a land with this Ponder. Three cards on top of your library in any order. Well... No thanks, I'll draw all of those cards actually. And we'll hold off on doing the Chrome Mox till next turn. Oh look, it's Darude Sandstorm. They're one of the people with the uh, highest trophy counts in... Uh, it was at least one format, I don't remember which one. Um... We're gonna do the Chrome Mox thing here. We're gonna put down the Seagate Stormcaller. We're going to cast ourselves a Metal Worker. Yep, they're going to do a lot of Library of Alexandria stuff here. Maybe they don't have some kind of crazy start to whittle their hand down to seven again. Yeah, Xander's Lounge is not going to do it unless they have like a, God forbid, a Black Lotus or a Mox or something. Yeah, they're going to go to the cleanup step now. We're going to play a land. We're going to play a Fufferino. Opponent wondering what they should be doing. I guess, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, those are some piles, that's for damn sure. I mean, if those are the piles, this is a pretty easy turn. Play out the Frexian Revoker. Um, Force of Will Island here makes me want to keep the Phyrexian Revoker Island Mountain, but I think we can afford to take the Force of Will, because the Phyrexian Revoker 
doesn't really nail anything. Right now, anyway. So it gets two mana apiece. Yeah. It's not like we can cast a Batter Skull anyway. We can cast a Phyrexian Revoker. We're going to take the Force of Will. Not exactly the most exciting Foff ever, but you know what? Still a good card. Nothing wrong with it. I guess my opponent's going to have some library value this game, and I'm not really going fast enough to slow them down or punish them for it. They're at a nice, healthy 19 here. Gonna go to eight, then they're gonna go to nine, and they have one land to work with. Unless they want to start tapping the library for actual mana. A bulk? Okay. Coalition Relic? Not really afraid of that one. Blightsteel? How far away are we from Blightsteel? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can cast the Force of Will as well, so yeah, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 12, so we need one more artifact. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Keeps up the mana for Force that way. Maybe they think that we have the Force anyway. I mean, I don't think that one damage is going to matter. We might get pretty heavily punished here for that. We'll see them. They get rid of the blight seal. We're just complete, or, or rather, the spell worker. We're just kind of screwed here. Expressive iteration is a really good card. Library is a messed up card, but I don't think it's that unbalanced. They put a taiga in the exile zone? Okay. Are they gonna play the taiga? They do play the taiga. What else you got? We have up to four mana here. We're not punishing them at all. Cast a Brainstorm, buddy. Maybe they see a lock on top of their deck? Didn't see any fetches so far. Just have Expressive Iteration Mountain. They have 10 cards in hand right now. It's a pretty big number. But they actually haven't drawn that many more cards, really. They've mostly just kind of spun their wheels a little bit. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Starting to wonder what the game plan is. I mean, I know this person isn't a bad player. They're actually quite a good player, or they just draft, like, non-stop. And even then, if they drafted non-stop and they weren't good, they wouldn't have any trophies. So, gotta be doing something over there. What it is, I do not know. Mountain does not quite do it. it. Does let us keep up the force of will and attack. I don't think there's any creatures that punish us for the attack here. Besides like Cathar Commando, stuff like that. We're inching pretty close to that blight seal. Slowly but surely, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 next turn. The disparity in cards and deck is becoming more apparent as the turns go on here. They're going to go to 22 cards in deck, we have 23. We did cast a Ponder and a Factor Fiction though, so at this point they've gone through more cards than we have. 
as far as actually getting to play them. My kingdom for one artifact, I would love to have this game come down to me using Blightsteel to kill them. Feel pretty nice. I could choose blue. Don't exactly know what that means. We might be able to bait them into a counter war over something that they think we think is important. Right now I don't know what that would be, but we're going to try it. We're going to try our best. I increased some of the specs on my video. As you can see, the file size is a little bit bigger than normal. Hopefully the quality is also commensurately higher. Well, I guess we're going to go in pause mode until our opponent does something. Wooded foothills? Okay. I mean, when a player goes this slow, there's usually a reason. There must be a lot of stuff going on in that hand that I have to think about. Hopefully there's only like one counter spell and they're going to spew it on countering the force of will and whatever it is doesn't just win them the game. Alright, they're going to sack the wooded foothills. Makes sense, I guess. Go get a mountain. Casting. Oh, is this Dak Faden? Pyretic Ritual? Uh oh. My opponent's on Storm here. Library of Alexandria. Expressive Iteration. Brainstorm. Heretic Ritual. Yeah, that all checks out. What you got? What is this? Is this like... Time Spiral? Turnabout. I think I have to counter the turnabout or else we're gonna lose here. It does force them to use some mana. Maybe they have a force as well? Well, whatever they have going on, that did slow them down a little bit. Now they only have four mana to work with. They knew we had the force of will, so I have to imagine they didn't, like, bet the house on it, but they did use a pyretic ritual. So now I don't know what their plan is. They've also tapped all their mana before they cast it. Which, of course, you want to do, but, like, I didn't know if I was going to cast uh, the force or not. I don't know if there's a... I don't think there's a good way to layer that. Okay. Okay, they spew their mana. Go to combat. Probably pass the turn here. And there's a Gruel Signet. We're gonna play out the mountain. Activate. One, two, three. Take a look, opponent. There you go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, exact. I'm gonna play around the days here. Really? You wanna know which six mana I'd like to use? This six mana. They could still obviously kill us here. <laughs> Nothing saying that they can't. Uh I mean Them's, them's the brakes. I ain't got nothing left going. Gas pedal is like batter skull now, so do what you gotta do, buddy. We're just gonna yield until the end step. <laughs> they know exactly what cards we have in hand. What you got? Ooh, Cabal Ritual? Okay. Alrighty, let's see what the opponent's doing over here. They're taking some time to sequence, that's for sure. We'll pause for now. So this is only game one, and we're about ten minutes through it. So, if this is any indication of their play speed, 
I don't really have the time to play through three games like this one, even if this is the last turn of the game. They need to really start hitting that gas pedal, and if they don't know if they can get there, they might want to just concede now. They don't know that we have twin. They do have to win the game this turn or put up enough blockers to block Blightsteel. Some Bolas of Citadel. That'd be a fun card to see, but I don't know what's going on over there. I have no clue at all. Casting Flames, maybe? No guarantee that they were in the same pod that we were. Regrowth, that gets back, what, turnabout? Is that what they got back? Your game log, please. Rainstorm. They're using a lot of mana. They're looking. They're trying to figure out what can happen here. I think they're trying to find a way to find more mana. They have a time spiral. So if they just knew what their wind condition was and how to do it, I don't think they'd be playing this slow. I think they had it last turn if they were able to cast the turnabout, and now they're kind of... Yogwill? Oh, never mind. Yeah, we're fucked. Alright. Yeah, brainstorm. Get a Yogwill. Recast Pyretic Ritual, Turnabout, Mystical Tutor, Brainstorm, Cabal Ritual. I mean, I'm gonna make them do it, because, like, why not? Uh, wait a minute. They don't have double blue anymore. Yeah? They can't cast Turnabout. Oh, yeah, they can. Whoops. So they have what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana? 7, 8, 9. 9 mana here. Another high tide. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They've increased their mana count by one. What you got? Wall Ritual from the Graveyard. Seven mana, Storm Count nine. Do they just have, like, Tendrils in their hand or something? What's the win condition, my friend? So right now you're at about literally half your game clock, and I'm not conceding. Brain freeze target me. Yeah. Brain freeze is good enough. Um, no follow yields, please. Well, I really not intended to show them my entire deck, but I guess they know that we have pester might splinter twin now. Whoopsie. Uh, what's good against them here? Um, Repeal gets rid of Mana Rocks pretty well. Winter Orb punishes them for tapping out for anything, but they're kind of trying to do it all at once, so I don't think that's as good. Um, Expansion Explosion? That can do something in this matchup. I think it's probably better than... Rexian Revoker, maybe? No, that actually had targets. Um, Emrakul. Emrakul's good here. Blightsteel's slow here. Um, I think we can run it like this. And be relatively happy. Still haven't seen the Urza Saga. We're going to submit like this and see if we can get there on the second game. Just under 50 minutes. Okay, we'll put on the pause. Oh, okay, it looks like we're gonna go ahead and play first. Grim Monolith into nothing? Not really what I'm looking to do. Um, Lodestone Golem? Lodestone Golem's a pretty powerful, uh, powerful effect against what they're doing. We're gonna keep it and we're gonna put Walking Ballista on the bottom. Play the Triome, pass the turn. Go ahead. We have turn one library again. 
Okay, that's fine. Do we cast this or do we hold up miscalc? I think we do this. Yep. I'd like to draw land. Land is pretty good there. Um, let's start out with Lodestone Golem. Really? Okay. Do no Phyrexian Revoker yet. Own it on the deep in the tank plan. Off? Pretty good, but we can't cast the Pestermite here. We're just gonna hold up the Miscalc. Anything they do is gonna have to cost a shitload more mana. I don't think they can afford to cast like almost anything now. They can they can cast like a Ponder. It's pretty rough. We can also just cycle this if we want to. Extra hidden mode. Did I forget to attack? Whoops. Ergy? Oh, no thanks, buddy. We would like you to not have a Bergy. Four mana and cast a Pestermite. Untap our Grey Monolith. Hmm, what you got? What you got, Oppo? We're on a real clock here. Prismatic Vista, that's fine. I mean, they're on two types of clocks. They're on the actual game clock, and they're on the Lodestone Golem clock. They're at five higher life than they should be, but, you know, you can't win them all, right? Gotta misplay sometimes. Lodestone Golem's exactly the kind of card that I want to play against Storm. Having the counterspell for Bergy means that they're like, Really, really, really far behind. Sack the Vista, fine by me. Okay. We're just gonna play this. What you got? Turns out it didn't really change our clock at all. So it turns out Lodestone just owns them. Just so hard. I mean, I'm sure their hand's a little clunky and all, but like... Lodestone seems like it really, really went the distance. Brainstorm. Two mana Brainstorm? It's okay with me. Brainstorm leaves them with a uh, three mana. They can cast a three drop or less. They might just concede the game here, honestly. We are gonna factor fiction because, like, well, there's no reason not to. I don't want to play like some kind of weird mind game with keeping up my mana versus not doing it. Especially when they need to find something that they can actually cast with three mana or less here. 
guess we're going to go into pause mode because they're only a thinking plan. Okay, they're going to cast a spell. Don't know what it is, but it's a spell. Or all. Okay. Or all is A-OK. -okay. That kind of is not the best for me, but you know what? Ooh, well, that's pretty rough. Are they going to concede now? I mean, did they not understand that they're actually... There they go. All right, they understood. Um... Yeah, we're going to go to sideboard, and I think our current build is good enough. I don't think we can winter orb here. I just don't think it does enough for us. The sword might actually be enough, though. We do have creatures. They, don't, they can't interact with them, like, at all. What wasn't good? Metal Worker was extremely slow. All the counter spells seem great. Walking Ballista, maybe? No, Expansion Explosion, for sure. It's a big, dumb, expensive card that doesn't really do enough most of the time. Yeah, we'll run it like this and uh, see what the last game looks like. Alright, we're not going to do any auto-yielding whatsoever. As much as I would not like to win by time, um, we are going to, uh, I don't, I don't care about these, dude. Um, this is close to an auto keep. Close, 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 but not quite there. Turn four lodestone might just be too slow. Also have the pester might to punish them. I think we have to mull. This seems a bit more my speed, and with this one, we're going to put down the Walking Ballista. Yeah, seems pretty good. Doing a lot of automatically yielding. Fine by me. Oof, we're all turn two. Not great for me, not gonna lie. Um Miscalc is probably instrumental here. Can't really use the chrome box otherwise. Just gonna play the gruel signet past the turn. We draw Pestermite here, we're kinda Locked. They have potentially five ish, maybe six mana worth of stuff to do this turn. I don't know if I don't know if the brawl is going to go coast to coast, but I admire the panache, you know. What you got Ergie. Christ, this is really bad for me. Okay, um, island. Got four mana now. Metal worker just taps us out of miscalc. Yeah. We cycle miscalc. No, we don't. Um, oof, well, it's a reason to cycle miscalc. Metal worker? And safely block the brawl. They have a lot of stuff going on, but maybe they don't have the combo built up in their hand yet. I think that's the only thing really keeping them from pulling the trigger.
they need some kind of source of card advantage to get enough cards in their hand to really pop off. Right now, I bet they can either make a bunch of mana or not do anything. They're thinking about it, though. Only question is, is this thinking going to take 7 minutes? Alrighty. Um, 3-3, three, three. yeah, not gonna block. Four cards in hand, what you got? Mana Flare. Mana Flare? Okay. I was not expecting the Mana Flare. I don't think Miskalk is doing anything for me anymore. We're gonna... Urza? Urza's not bad. Yeah, we'll pass. Um, Mystic Confluence is great, though. Okay, we're gonna play out the sword. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Do we just cast this now? Cast it on upkeep? No, I think we just cast it now. I think we have to just cast it now. Really? Okay. Fuck, I could have cast the batter skull there? Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. Six mana, what you got? Should have at least cast the chrome box. Could have spun the wheel on Urza. Five mana? They're gonna just try and hit the, uh... Okay, it's fine. Arpita Spring? Okay. Um, yeah. Doing it again. Brain Freeze? Brain Freeze is pretty far away from doing it for him. Got a lot of mana though. It's a question of what these last several cards are gonna do. Pretty close game. Yep. You got Expressive Iteration. Well, that's certainly a good card. But I don't know if it gets them out of this. Yellow of Fortune? Also doesn't get him out of this. 
think any road to victory starts with expressive iteration for them. But Wheel of Fortune might be the only out they have. I think they have to cast Wheel. Although if they Wheel, we could easily get another Counterspell. We do have Mana Drain after all. There's the mana drain. That's pretty nice. We also have repeal. Or one. Down the turnabout. Oh, we're going to tap. Untapped creature I control. Artifact, rather. I'm going to cast a mana drain. Target that. Oh, yeah, we only get one mana piece. Really? That's. Th what? They just let it go? They have no mana! What, what what are they what can they do? I I have no idea. I don't know what there is. We won? Holy shit. Wow, what a game. Well, I mean I guess they played to their outs and I drew a mana drain. See, that's why you uh pick mana drain in drafts, so that you can win uh two one against a really good storm deck. All right, I'll see y'all in the third round. Well, we are 2-0 in this draft so far, and our hand looks pretty amazing. We're already in the money here. We've already won back our draft, so I don't think I can feel bad about this. My opponent starts out with, like, Black Lotus Soul Ring into something else. I'm not going to care. Mock Sapphire. <laughs> see? Wall of... Really? Okay, well, you know what? The plays off of Mock Sapphire, one of the ones I'm least afraid of is probably Wall of Omens. Just gonna play an island, because they could be playing Wasteland. We're going to pass the turn. Hope they try to cast something big here. We can counter it, and then drop Batterskull. Badlands? Ooh, the classic Plains Mock Sapphire Badlands deck. They're on end step, just doing nothing. Works for me. Uh, we're not going to get uh, Emery out this turn. I'm not going to play the Chrome Mox either. Um, we're just going to pass again. I mean, if they're content to do nothing, we're content to do nothing. The longer the game goes, the more... Uh, it says so I oh sure. The longer the game goes, the more advantaged we are, I think. Because we have some pretty good high drops as well as a splinter uh splinter twin plan. But we'll see what happens. We got Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Well I don't like that. We're gonna try and mana drain it. Please get countered. They are not going to counter it. They thought about it. I don't know what they have. I guess maybe like Flusterstorm or something? We get 3 mana. Play out a basic mountain. We have, what, 7 here? We can name Mox Sapphire, cut them off some mana. We can also play a better skull. I would like to play a better skull.
Force of Negation, huh? Exiling the Scarab God? It's a pretty good card. Um... We will play the Phyrexian Revoker. We're going to name Mox Sapphire. Mox Sapphire. Oink. Alrighty. Felt like a pretty okay turn. We're both on three cards. Their three cards might be better than mine, but I still feel good. They're on three mana sources, we're on five. We get an Emery. Emery, unfortunately, can't get back. This because it was exiled, because it turns out uh, Force of Negation's insane. But, you know, Ymir Signet, that's fine. What you got? Force and Legionnaire? Sure. Fine. Hmm, I think we do start with Ponder. Generally, you want to cast your card draw spells first. We got one hour and eleven minutes. Pretty short. There's a Splinter Twin, there's a Time Walk, there's an Island. I think we want to draw the Time Walk now. So the Island on the bottom, Splinter Twin, and then Time Walk on top. We will not shuffle our library. No. Can't cast an Emery as well as a Time Walk. So we're just going to cast a time walk here. Of course, it'd be optimal and like ideal to be able to do it any other way, but uh, now we play the Emery. Oh, Emery's two mana. Oh, geez. I guess I'm kind of stupid, aren't I? Grim Monolith, Walking Ballista? We can... No, we can't do that. We'll just pass. Swords? Well, that's a good card. Um, can't really do much about it. Bye-bye Walking Ballista, I guess. That is the last card in their hand. They're on zero, we're on a Splinter Twin? I feel much better about our position than theirs. I say as they start to draw more cards. We know we have a land on top, unfortunately. We can start... I don't know. We really can't do anything next turn. We've been through more cards than they have. Walking Ballista would have been pretty great, so would have Urza. Uh, rather, Urza would have as well. Can't block here, so I won't. What did I gain a life off of? I, I have no idea. Hey, what? Did I miss something? Oh, we milled it. Of course we milled it. That's obvious. Uh, well, we can't really do much with the Blightsteel here. So I think we're just going to pass the turn. Yeah, I mean, at this rate, we're looking at a porcelain legionnaire that might go coast to coast. We have a, six turns left before it actually just kills us. We've drawn an equal number of lands, but they have more mana sources because of the mox and the Demir signet. Metalworker? Well, it's one of the ways that we can cast a black seal. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three mana left. It's actually quicker than you might think. What the hell is this? That's pretty awful. I mean, it's not like we were going to cast it next turn anyway, so I don't really think it matters too much, but it would have been nice. Although, I am pretty happy about the prospect of getting to win a game with Blightsteel. Okay. 
What you got? They attack with the vents here, we are going to block here, but they do not, and so we won't. More confidant. Pretty awful for me. Um, rule signet. Well, it's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more artifact will get us there. Or one land. So we're live to draw a Blightsteel Colossus that we can actually cast. Shelldock Isle. Must be nice, you know? Must be nice. And they're on pace to use it next turn, too. Jeez. Pretty killer. Now the Blightsteel Colossus might not even get there because almost certainly top four is better than whatever they drew. So the only absolutely awful draw on our deck is probably Trium, because it doesn't do anything. Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six. I have something here that punishes us for not blocking or for blocking the Vincer. I don't know. But I think we're fine if we go to seven. And start to sp splinter twin two. Oh, doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Preordain. That's fine. Not ideal, but it's better than a spell that actually does something. What do they do? Two cards on the bottom. Drew a card, okay. Well. Oh, no, no, no. We do not want to do that. We want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Beep. Don't mind me, I'll just cast a Blight Seal. Island? No justice. <sighs> We're also live for Splinter Twin at any time. What do they got? What's this? <sighs> okay. Well, him to Torox not really anything I'm afraid of. Plus, I got the two cards in her hand that actually don't do anything. That's a land. What else do they have? Might be kind of overdue on lands. Six, seven, eight, nine. Well, they've drawn about appropriately. Hmm, what do we do? We have to do something. They will eventually draw a card that actually matters. If we attack with Blightsteel, they have to put things in front of it or else they die. Alternatively, we can just block with the Phyrexian. Uh, yeah. I think we do attack here. Please go to seven. Um, we have double removal spell. This actually does save us. This does make us a chump blocker every turn. Acto Signet does not save them. It is a card. They have to have removal for three creatures here, because they have to kill the Frexian Revoker, the Splinter Twin Token, as well as the Metal Warrior. 
Perry. Wow. Yeah. Guess that is a card that gets us, doesn't it? <sighs> not good, not good. Um, Ashiok as well. That, that solves that problem, I guess. Yeah, I think I've uh, I think I've seen enough. Not any way for us to win this game. All right, what was good? What was bad? Repeal seems like it's not too bad. It was Mox. It's not that great though. Can't really tendrils them. We're not casting that many spells. Opposition seems like it's bad. We just have to pressure them in a better way. Well, we are already in the money for this draft. We've won back our ability to, dra uh, to draft a second time. So now we just have to try and grind this one to a victory as well. Alright, we're going to play first. Fan doesn't actually cast any spells. This is much better. We'll put an island on the bottom. Done. Play an island, cast a ponder. What are we looking for here? Well, we can play a winter orb. But I don't know if that's good enough. Also, this isn't doing anything, so we're going to put this on, um... Well, we can actually shuffle away the stuff we don't want next turn, so we're going to keep the Emrakul on top, then the Seagate Stormcaller on top, draw the Winter Orb, no shuffle, take the Winter Orb, next turn go get our Volk and play out the Winter Orb. Ugh. Okay, so they do actually have literally um, <laughs> the soul ring as well as another piece of uh, power adjacent card. One thing we're not going to do is beat the Porcelain Legionnaire with a uh, Seagate Stormcaller, so we're just going to play the Winter Orb here. Next turn we untap one land, can cast nothing. And uh, next turn, if we draw a land, we can actually cast the Lonestone Golem. And tap their one land, probably have four mana here. Jeez, Jesus Christ. The anti-Winter Orb technology, I guess. And just stacked with perfect mana. Trinket Mage, go get their Mox. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess it was kind of stupid to bring in a Winter Orb against the Artifact deck. It's hosing me more than it's hosing them now. We'll untap the Volk. Get a Blight Steel? Alrighty. I'm about one good card away from just packing it in here. They're gonna deal us five, bring us to eleven. Uh. 
Alrighty, what you got? This is Ashiok, we do just lose. No, this is worse. Uh, what is it? We don't really have a catch-up mechanic, so... Yeah, I don't know. I guess there's a chance we can, like, kiki our way to victory. Or rather, Splinter Twin. But... At this life total, it's gonna be pretty rough. Play a land, we can... Play a Lodestone Golem and nothing else for like four turns. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, everybody. Well, that was a fun set of games. <laughs> uh, third match did not go too well. Opponent just had some stuff that actually mattered and I didn't. But you know what? I had fun. We got 100 play points back, we can do it all again, and I probably will, right after I press stop on this video. Thank you for tuning in, I hope you've enjoyed things. Uh, we got to take one potential trophy away from... Where are they at? Are they at? I know they're in here somewhere. Oh, look, Numot's even up there? Wow. Didn't know Numot was still streaming. Makes it sound like he's ancient or something. He isn't. Well, maybe they haven't gotten this lucky this time around. I don't know. Maybe it was just uh, Dominaria I remember seeing them in. But uh, we got to take away some potential trophies. Uh, this was fun. Thank you for tuning in again. This has been Robot Rallis. Please leave a like, a comment, a subscription if you like. And have a wonderful night.